The remains of castles are all over Britain, often built by the king to control an area and provide a power base where a lord could live with his family and hold an army. Sometimes these castles have been repaired and look very much as they did when they were new. Carnarvon, built by order of Edward I, is an impressive example. More frequently, the castle is a ruin, repaired so it will not decay further and can be explored by visitors with an interest in the past. Occasionally, the castle is still used as a home. The owner of Bamborough Castle lives here with his family, and there are also flats and a museum. The need for defensive works goes back to the first time that people lived together in communities and needed the protection against enemies. A wooden palisade was often the defence in those days. It was found that a better defensive position could be made by putting a tower on a mound. Where there were no natural ones, they were dug by piling up earth in a circle. The trench that was left became the moat and was often filled with water. The mound was called a mot. A palisade was added to defend the top. Later, these defensive forts had better buildings and the bridges over the moat could be removed or drawn. This is how the word drawbridge came to be used. These early defences became larger and more important as time went on. This is the mot at Thetford. The size is immense, and the height from the bottom of the ditch to the top is nearly 25 metres. It was all dug with primitive hand tools, and once had buildings and a palisade on the top. When the Normans invaded England, it was essential that they had something that could be used for defence and attack. The wooden castle was ideal for this purpose. It was easy to build and, if needs be, dismantled. Some remained in use well into the period that stone castles existed. As these wooden castles developed, a further palisade was built to surround the many buildings that housed the animals and the people connected with the castle. This area was known as the Bailey 